Taz, what's mm. your day in life? Um, I, yeah. I went on a little trip with some friends. Oh, yeah. and, uh, mm. Actually, Emmy and I, we went on a trip with some few friends, and uh, we, um, I like, kind of just had a little, a little fling a with little... someone. It was Emily's best friend. So at the time, I didn't really. So the dream couple thing with you and Emily is probably not happening now. Emily and I are best friends. I love it to bits. Like it's not, it's not like that. No. No. That's good. That's good for me. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone gets so excited about Emily being single. But you did. Ah, I think, yeah, well, I think every gorgeous, guy though. goes by, like, you know, sees Emily and goes, oh, my God. No, Emily's enough. fantastic. It's like, she's gorgeous, but if you can actually get there and you've got the balls to go for it, then... Why, why, why? Hey, she's is a scary she, girl. Uh, she's scary, is man. She? I did not enjoy that I'll at all. I'll have to see that before I, um, before I fall too far in love. Oh, how are you, brother? Yeah, you good? Yeah. How are you? Well? Hello. Join the night? Yeah. You? Yeah, yeah Bev. Hey. Well, this is um, fun. Well, I was gonna ask you something about Emily. I'm bored. <laughs> well, it's not. It's not. Don't don't freak. Um, I know how you know me and Liv did that thing in, in Buenos Aires, and obviously emotionally got to you a little bit. But I obviously know Emily slightly and think she's quite attractive. And I just before I even humoured that idea in my like brain, wanted to like even ask if that would ever be an issue with you. Sure, you just go for another girl. <laughs> like, we went through okay, the same so thing with Liv. Okay, so you said Liv. that, fine. Well, I'd never yeah. be like, hi, can I date your, ba your housemate? It's well, if you'd ask me, I'd say yes, because that's, that's where I am with you. But that's and what I'd I think would probably something. a bit weird. I think a lot of people think that. Is that odd that, that I... Yes, what, is that right? weird? I, it depends where... Maybe, no, maybe... I, no, 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 I would find it a bit weird, naturally, but it is a fine line. It's. Totally. I just yeah, think that like, in life, normally, you don't have your ex asking if you can date your housemate. It's just pretty. It's just general knowledge. But again, Did like you the not living. date your best mate and your other best mate, and you probably asked them at totally. some point. Maybe even too and late once you've slept with the guy. Yeah. I'm actually coming to you before I've got but, to know her, before I've humoured it, because I don't want to. No, but yes. I'm not calm down because you're being first hypocritical, second I'm not really, really unreasonable. Hypocritical. Why do you even try and come and be like I'm doing it out of respect? You have no respect for me. We are not friends. We do not That's get along. You... So go the head and fucking do what you want to do. Well, I'll leave you to it. Thanks for having that chat. Oh, right, bye. All right, thank you. Good. I've kind of had a proper conversation with you because I you feel like really, I'm I can't. Screwed. You are quite <laughs> weird, yeah. You are a bit weird. I know. It's more the fact that I just sing. So obviously, I'm Habs' friend, so I just sometimes it's a bit. I'm always with her, so. Do you feel like there's a bit of like a barrier there because of that? Well, yeah, yeah, I think so. Well, yeah. I mean, I, on that note, I, I did ask Habs tonight. I just said, obviously, I find you attractive, and I... Do you? Oh, why are you so surprised? <laughs> it's about, hang on. I know it. Yeah, no, the, the glasses. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and I just said, you know, before anything happens, or even before I even humour the idea in my head, where would your emotions be with anything like that ever happening? And she really didn't react well, so... Oh. I thought I'd tell you because I'm sure she'll relay it to you. It, it's just such an awkward one because obviously I'm really good friends with her and I've been, you know, she speaks to me a lot about you and about like, even she was so upset about the whole like live situation. So, you know, it's a bit of an awkward one for me. It's annoying. And I'm really enjoying your Instagram stories at the moment. Yeah, well, they that's... are weird as hell. Maybe we can just date on Instagram stories because we just pre appreciate Instagram stories. Well, I'm not sure if I and appreciate them. I'm just saying the weirdest thing <laughs> I've, like, I've ever seen, like the noises that come out your mouth. Yeah. Just that. Yeah. That's what I'm going for. You're weird as hell, but it's funny. So are you. What do you think? I think so, yeah. Yeah, I am. You make weird noises and do weird dances. That's why I was like, oh, this girl's got, <laughs> she's got something to it. <laughs> Just so we're clear, are we saying this is a, a no go zone? Annoyingly, it's going to have to be a no go zone. For I now. just, yeah, I just. Yeah, for now. <laughs> <laughs>